Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So today's video is about this iPad 5. So I've chosen for this blue color and yeah, I mean, who doesn't love blue? And as always, those shades are visible in the details. So like the iPad Air in here, you see that it has a bluish shade in it. Uh, that's kind of cool. The Apple logo has also a blue shade and I chose to go for the base model, the 64 gigabyte. I mean, I don't use a lot of memory on an iPad. Uh, that goes also as well for cellular. I actually never use cellular on an iPad. I most of the time use Wi-Fi and if there's and if there isn't any Wi-Fi in the space, I go and connect it to my iPhone uh, and like use hotspot of my iPhone and connect the internet connection to this iPad that way. So yeah, you got you guys. So yeah, there isn't much different from the previous model. We still have the same hardware. We still have the same camera. I mean, the front face camera has now an extra option. The front face camera has this center stage future, which means that you can FaceTime with people with multiple people in front of the iPad and we'll center it all together. And that's kind of cool. We have the same rear camera. We have the same aluminum body. So with that all said, let's jump straight into this video. So let's go ahead and give it an unbox experience. And as always, that doesn't, that always goes wrong. So let's go ahead and peel this plastic off and if I try to unbox this thing, it doesn't budge. And that's something I'm not used to from Apple. So as you see, I tried to slide it down, but that doesn't go as expected. So if you can remember from my unbox videos of the iPhones, I just have to grab this top box and the and the lower box slides right off, but that doesn't happen with this iPad. So I'm a bit disappointed, Apple. Please fix that. We love the way how you could just grab the upper box and the rest of it slides off, but that doesn't happen anymore. So yeah, we need to do it the hard way, I guess. Okay, so we have the box open. We have immediately this iPad, so let's, First, give a look to what's inside. As always, some paperwork, um, the stickers. We have them in white, even though the iPad is in blue. So Apple could have chosen to give us those stickers in in blue. Uh, we have the charging. We have the charger brick, which is 20 watt, and a USB-C to USB-C cable. Other than the iPhone that has the USB to Lightning cable, this one has a USB to USB-C cable. So let's put that all aside, and let's take a look to this actually very beautiful color. Okay, so this color is amazing. It's very beautiful. It is lightweight. I mean, it doesn't feel like the iPad mini where you can just grab the whole iPad with one hand. You still need two hands for this iPad, but still you will have great watching experience on this iPad. Even though it doesn't have an XDR display, it's just a liquid retina display with true, true tone. So that's a bummer. And also those bezel seems a bit bigger than I've expected. Uh, it would be very nice to see some thinner bezels. I mean, nowadays they can just put that front face camera somewhere at top and make room for more screen. If you would ask me, Apple, just go for that. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on just to see how that display looks like. So, so while we look into this Apple logo, underneath this chassis, we have the M1 chip uh, that goes also for the iPad Pro, which has also an M1 chip. Uh, it has like a 64 gigabyte, like I said. Uh, it comes in with a 12 megapixel ultra wide, wide camera. So if we look to the rear, this camera is ultra wide. We have just one camera. Uh, if you look to the iPad Pro, the cur current model has like two cameras. So one is maybe ultra wide and the other one is, is just a normal. And it has also, I mean, that Pro model has also a sensor that shows you things in real life. So if you have, in case an Ikea app, you can just scan the place and that app will place that furniture furniture in that place. That's kind of cool, uh, but not needed. So if you don't feel much of that, this iPad Air is definitely something you can go for. We can swap that hello animation, go for English, Netherlands, that's my country. 
and go to quick start. So, so to do quick start, I need to have my iPhone in my hand. Unfortunately, I'm filming with my iPhone, so I can't do that. Let me set up this thing manually and come back in a minute. So while I'm setting up this iPad, I came through this stage where I need to uh, f insert my touch ID. So as you may know, the touch ID is right at the button where you can lock and unlock your screen or even turn off your screen. So let's go ahead and see how that goes. Obviously you need to hit continue and this way or on the iPad, other than on the iPhone where you, you need to use your thumb, it's more wisely to just use your index finger to uh, insert that touch ID. And as you may know, you need to lift and rest your finger on the top of that button uh, multiple times. So now, yeah, now that surface is like detected. Now I need to detect more of my finger. So let's go ahead and do that. And just like that, my fingers added. Yes, you can use your thumb, but that way, yeah, you need to unlock your iPad this way. And that's not that handy. I mean, I use mostly my index finger to lock and unlock my iPad. So let's hit continue. Oh, and obviously, as you see right here, I can add another fingerprint to it. That's very clever made by Apple because sometimes you hold the iPad this way and now, and apparently now I need to insert my left index finger fingerprint to the iPad. So let's hit continue. I think that future was very cl clever from Apple to add in. So I wouldn't have thought about it. Okay, so I need to move my finger slightly between the scans. Let, let's hit continue. So like I said, I wouldn't have thought about it only if I would encounter that problem. So let's say I was watching a video this way and I would have add my fingerprint to the iPad. I wouldn't be able to lock it or unlock it. So that way I would about thinking, oh, maybe I should add my left index finger to the iPad. But anyways, I need to create a password. And as you may know, if you just add like 000, it says to you that the password can be easily guessed. Apple just added an if statement in their code that if I may add 0000, I get this message that my password code can be easily guessed. So that's also very clever made by Apple. I'll just use it anyway. And you, if you guys are wondering, I will change it after the video. So yeah, for now, I'm not transferring any data. I hit forget password and don't have an Apple ID. That way I can choose this option to set my Apple ID later on. So in case you were wondering, can you use an iPad without Apple ID? Yes, you can. But if you have done so, you can't do anything with it except of taking videos or maybe taking notes and stuff, but you can't down download anything on it. So it's kind of useless without an Apple ID, but for, for the sake of this video, I'm just, I'm not gonna add an Apple ID as of yet. So don't use, agree with those terms and conditions, continue. So you can switch between a light mode and a dark mode. I'll keep it on light. And there we have it. And wow, widgets on an iPad, that looks awesome. I always was wondering when, when Apple will add widgets to the iPad because yeah, we have more screen and those widgets will look awesome on the iPad. Uh, there's way more room to add those widgets. And if I go and see how that feels, maybe I'll add a clock widget. Or maybe I add the calendar widget. So let's say I'm willing to add this calendar. Wow, that looks that looks awesome. So now in just one eye view, you have access to your calendar through that widget, which looks very cool, if you would ask me. And yeah, as expected, the iPad is super fast, but that's because it doesn't contain anything heavy on it. Uh, I haven't tested that out yet. I thought to make this video just to unbox this iPad and show you how that goes. Um, for the full experience, I'll make a in-depth video to show you exactly how this iPad behaves under heavy conditions like using or playing Call of Duty on it and all of those games. But look how fast this iPad is. Let's see how that brightness looks like. I mean, this iPad is just unbelievable. We have a very fast iPad. Look how those, how that library just unveils itself. 
it's just amazing. Okay, so if I swipe to the right, that library just appears on screen, but I have also a button for it. So let's say I swipe. So let's say I swipe to the right and I hit that button, my app library just appears on screen. So that's very clever thought. Let's see how that camera looks like. So yeah, it's not the best camera, but yeah, when do you find yourself filming or shooting photos with your iPad camera? I never do so especially if you are sitting in class and you want to take those and you want to take pictures from uh, your teacher's slides that's the only th time i can think of taking pictures with my ipad it's very handy you can just edit right away on it but in any other case i not picturing myself going outside and taking pictures of nature and all of that or taking selfies with this ipad so yeah uh, having a camera is great but it's, yeah, it's maybe, it's an add-on in this iPad whole thing. So yeah, it's a very cool iPad. Let's see how that, okay, so look how fast that iPad, I kind of like this way of like, I kind of like this way of unlocking my iPad. It's very fast. If you keep your finger on it, so if I just touch on it, it will unlock my iPad. And if I keep my finger on it, it brings me to the menu, to the home screen. So yeah, it amazed me the clever things that Apple thinks of when it comes to using your devices. It has a very beautiful layout, but hey, we like feed it with data and they gave us that those things back that we want to see in their devices. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, that's actually it. I hope you guys like this video. It's a bit, it's a very beautiful iPad, just right from out of the bat. I would definitely recommend this iPad. Well, should you go for this one or the Pro, or the Pro model? It's a hard one. I need to have both devices side to side paired to each other, but I'll leave that for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, turn that notification bell on, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.